Without looking at my cheat sheet, I can tell you it was mostly like exhaustion and having a short fuse. Those were like the two biggest things. Like, I, and I wasn't eating. You know, I just wouldn't eat. And like eating breakfast in the morning, and and the the rest of my story that I filled out when I was typing it yesterday, I was like, you know. Some of these things that like seem very simple, they meant a lot to me and I have changed those things. And so my mindset in it has changed a little because I came in like mostly feeling like I just need some sort of change because my life is out of control and I do have control. So if I look at it in that aspect, then yes, I'm winning. I'm doing what I originally came in for. When I first started talking to you, I just knew that my life was out of control in the sense that like I wasn't making time for me. So in this process now, I feel like I've met that goal because I'm eating, I'm hydrating, I'm making some appointments for myself. Um, and, it, you know, like I'm not always going into the tracker every single day. Some, sometimes it'll be like three days and I'm like, oh crap, like I can't even remember what I did three days ago. But when I look at the tracker, it helps me really plan like okay what are you going to do for yourself in these next couple of days instead of making it all about the kids so i think in that aspect yes i have i'm re i'm matching my goals i'm i'm meeting them it just felt like um completely unobtainable like there was just no way it felt like it was so lost so gone it felt like I didn't have an extra minute to spare for me during the day. I don't know, maybe I'm not the best at time management. I feel like I am, but I try to cram so much stuff in one day, um, which I don't feel like is that healthy. But when we first started, it was like, there was no chance of me working out. Cause if I committed to something outside of the home, to me, it would be like a waste of money mm -hmm. because I would just never go, you know? And, it, and then if you're, seeing your account get charged and you're not going and you're like thinking well i'll just keep it for a little bit longer because i think i can get there and then you don't go again then it becomes like this dark cloud yeah. <laughs> like, then you start getting more down on yourself so i think when we first started it was just like it was just something that i just felt like i couldn't get a grip on like it was not obtainable at all I think like going to bed earlier is one thing that's like becoming a habit. Breakfast, one thing that's becoming a habit. Like when I first started, I was like, I cannot eat in the morning. Like this is like torture. <laughs> Into the second week, I was like, yeah, I'm, my body is like waking up. I'm fueling it. I'm lasting longer. Like I'm not craving weird stuff. Like I saw the beauty in it all. This plan has made me feel like things are super possible. Yeah, like, you know, like this is not that hard. You know, like, it's not like it's not obtainable. Like, I don't know if people lie about what they do. I'm sure some people do because they probably feel guilty. But I think the more real that you can be with yourself, like you do it or, or you don't, and then you have that coach to come in and hold you accountable, it helps you put into perspective how fast time flies. And if you're not gonna do it for yourself now, there's never gonna be a good time. I was on the fence too. In fact, like the reason why I decided to do it is because I had really lost myself where time was taking over my life. Like I just didn't make time for myself. And once I started doing the program, I have lost a little bit of weight and I have lost some inches. So if you don't make time for yourself now, you will never make time for yourself. And if you can make more time for yourself, you can give better quality time to others.